Hey everyone, welcome to our next episode. I'm Cynthia. And I'm Stacy. And we are here at a really cool art gallery. I mean, I, my eyes can't stop turning around looking at all this artwork. So um, this is Pace Setter Gallery and we have with us Carrie Davis. So tell us just a little bit about yourself and about this incredible gallery. Well, Pace Center Gallery has been a dream of mine for a long time. Um, I've been an artist for a long time and just really have felt like in the Rankin County area in central Mississippi, there hasn't been a gallery that has been really tied to um, not just uh, showing Mississippi artists and featuring them, but also giving creatives a place to get together. That is so incredible. So tell us um, what sort of artists do you have, do you represent here in this yeah. gallery? Uh, it's a pretty wide range uh, of artists. We have oil painters, um, printmakers, uh, driftwood artists, metal artists, sculptors, um, a number of pottery lines that are all local artists, and then some great plein air um, landscape painters, watercolors. Really, everything that's fine arts, we try to um, you know show that uh, and show the the Mississippi artists that do that at their very best. And how many people are represented here? 60 right now. Wow. We have 60 artists. Wow. And is from, it all from throughout the state or yes. just here in town? No, we have artists from Starkville. We have um, Delta artists all the way down to the Gulf Coast. Wow. Amazing. So how do these artists get their work featured in a place like this? Well, before I opened, I was able to kind of just make a giant road trip and go and meet them in their spaces. And now they come to me now that they know that we're open. So uh, to get into the gallery, uh, when you go to the website, to paysettergallery.com, there's an artist submissions page. And that tells you everything you need to know. That way you can submit your, your work on, on in a way that I can really look at it and take yeah. time to look at it. So. And that website is also incredible because you have all of the artists featured on the website as well in the pieces that are here. Is that correct? Right. So every artist is featured with their biography and each artwork has an, a little Easter egg where you can go and read about that particular piece. So you can follow the artist's journey and you can learn about each piece. Um, you can also, on your mobile phone, go and virtually install any piece that's in the gallery on your own wall at home. Nice. That way you can kind of try before you buy. That is so cool. I love that. And I love that you feature artists from throughout the state. Mm -hmm. You know, we're here in the middle of the state, and you've had artists from the Mississippi Gulf Coast, you know, whether it's Gulfport, Ocean Springs, and it's really cool to see that even some of our coastal artists can ha find a way to be out here throughout the state and be featured in a place like this that has, um, you know, being near, being right here by Jackson, so, so much traffic. So that's really cool mm -hmm. to have all those artists featured. So tell us, you actually do something, some really fun things here at the gallery. So tell us some of those cool creative things that you do throughout your work day, work week. <laughs> well, so I'm just kind of a geek about all sorts of creative arts, period. So I really like to tie in and I think about all these different creative groups that they don't really have a hub or a place to go mm -hmm. um, where they can just be creative and be mm -hmm. themselves. And so a lot of us artists, we mm -hmm. get kind of solitary in our art. So I try to tie in things that aren't just visual arts. Mm -hmm. um, so we just had um, a wonderful poetry open mic night, nice. and I coordinated that with the Mississippi Poetry Society. Yeah. So they came out, they spread the word, and um, like the Mississippi Arts Commission, they helped spread the mm -hmm. word. We had a lot of people uh, sharing that because uh, all those poets that came out, they just had a great time listening to each other, so many different styles and different perspectives. I mean, we had high school students, college students, mm -hmm. um, all the way up to, you know, folks doing things about World War II and recollections of things wow. and things happening right now. Yeah. It was really, really enjoyable. I loved it. I, yeah, I, I, I love being able to come out and just to see the diversity of it and especially to hear the original works and to hear things yeah. from the poet's points of view. But to see how different it was, everything from, you know, very introspective pieces to slam mm -hmm. poetry. Um, so it was just so much fun just to be able to connect with other people in that event. It's like my guilty pleasure. I just come up with things I think that will be a lot of fun. And so far, I mean, I've just, I've loved it. And I, I feel like people are getting more and more excited every yeah. time we have a, a new event. Um, but we've done things that have been tied in with, um, like our Valentine's mm -hmm. event was um, artistic desserts uh, mm -hmm. with live music from a master uh, piano player, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and we just always try to tie in different things. So we've had a lot of music events. Uh, we've had a lot of live painting events mm -hmm. where our artists will come in and do live painting. 
and um, just you know trying try to tie it in just trying to tie it in and get people excited and involved oh I love it okay so tell us what advice do you have to business owners that may have an an artist style business whether it's a gallery whether it's a jewelry shop so what's up what's some advice that you would give them about as we kind of like to say the creative economy about being creative in their own business because that's mm -hmm. that's what you do you keep it interactive and you keep people coming through uh, the advice I would give them is to just kind of step away and pretend like it's not your business and look at it and say what interesting thing could I add in here and it's hard to not be emotional or tied into what you do but if you can step back from it and think about you know like what other business can I collaborate with that's near me mm -hmm. um, we've done some pop-up galleries with like table 100 where artists have gone and painted there and then they've let us put that artwork up which is a painting of their business or the yeah. outside of their business and that type of collaboration it just creates new things so that's something that's great to do. Is find out who, who's near you that would be interested in doing something together, and you'll be surprised at what you get from that. Yeah, that's and I, I love the way that you work together with the community mm -hmm. partners, but I also love how accessible the art gallery is because there's so many people that they say, oh, it's an art gallery. I don't need to go in there. I don't need to talk. I don't need to be loud. So you've done lots of things to also make the art gallery oh, yeah. accessible to other people, like the scavenger mm -hmm. hunt and things like that. Can you yeah. talk to us about that? Yeah, you know, I feel like people do sometimes get intimidated about art mm -hmm. or they feel yeah. like they don't have the knowledge or the background and they feel like, you know, when they walk into a space that they want to feel comfortable and I think of this as, you know, uh, an art gallery where you can, you know, put on your jeans on a Saturday, grab mm -hmm. your coffee, and come walk through and just see beautiful Mississippi art. Mm -hmm. And so I always, when people walk in the door, I'm always looking for how can I get them comfortable to where they feel that they can do that. Mm -hmm. And that's my goal. So, so the, some of that's just getting people acclimatized mm -hmm. to, you know, what the what the place is. And once they know what it is, they get real excited, and yeah. you know they put their jeans on, and they, they come and get their coffee. <laughs> nice. So that works out great. Um, but another thing we do, because I have an art education background, I was an art teacher, is we have a scavenger hunt, and it's available anytime, and I change right. it twice a month. Mm -hmm. So even just today, I had a, a grandmother come in with her daughter and their granddaughter from Missouri, and they've been waiting for her to come to town <laughs> because she's really artistic. Yeah. And so they came in, they did the scavenger hunt, they always get a little prize, the kids get a little prize, or even girlfriends will come out and they'll grab a glass of wine. Um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we're up until nine. Mm -hmm. So a couple of girls will come out or two couples will come out okay. and just do the scavenger hunt. Oh, yeah. But That's I fun. love it because right. it, it really makes you stop instead of walking so fast. You know how fast our lives are these yeah. days? Mm -hmm. It makes you slow down and go, I'm gonna have to look at this stuff a little closer. I have to find some stuff. And so it makes you look a little more close and it, it just makes you relax and mm -hmm. enjoy yourself more. So, I love it. But anytime someone can walk in the door, we're ready to go with the scavenger hunt. Yeah, that's great. It's a great idea for a date night, just to exactly. step outside your comfort zone, come and see some beautiful artwork. Like you right. said, have a glass of wine or mm -hmm. tea and, and just come and enjoy the day. Exactly. Or even team building. Like we've had yeah. some groups come out, team building, um, small artist groups like Jackson Watercolor Group came and did that for their Christmas party. They had some snacks, they got together and did the scavenger hunt, you know, That's great. things like that. It just gives you um, something to get out and do without having to uh, schedule it, you know, right. just do it on the fly if you want. Yeah. yeah. So what are some of your upcoming events? So upcoming events, um, April 7th, we have our very next poetry mm -hmm. um, open mic night. So re really excited about that. Um, we have a uh, pop-up art gallery at the Home Show, which is uh, in Jackson. It's the Jackson Home Show. It's going to be in Pearl at the um, Clyde Muse Center, and that's um, March 30th, excuse me, April 30th and May 1st. Mm -hmm. And at that, we're going to have live painters um, for both days. So Cliff Speaks will be there from 10 until 1.30 um, on April 30th. Uh, then we will have Laura Mayo. She's an abstract painter. Um, she will be there from 1.30 to 5 on April 30th, and then on May 1st we'll have um, we'll have Susan Wellington. She'll be there from 1.30 to 3, and then from 10 to 1.30, Sean, Sean Richards will be there. That's awesome. So you'll be able to see the artists, see their work, and we'll have um, work for sale from them too, new pieces from that. them. Yeah. Um, and then uh, just in a couple of days, uh, on Saturday the 26th of March, we have um, Lee Francis, and she is a Starkville uh, glass artist and so she's got beautiful bowls and sculpture pieces so she's got a whole new collection she's bringing for that day and we'll do a little show and tell with all the items that she uses in her day-to-day -day when she makes her art 
Right. Mm -hmm. And earlier you were also talking about the plain air contest yes. that, mm -hmm. that you are in the process of putting together. Are there any details that you can talk to us about? Well, it's going to be the very last week of September. So um, the plain air community in Mississippi uh, is, I want to say it's a, it's a something that everyone knows about, mm -hmm. but some people don't quite know what plein air right. is. Mm -hmm. uh, so plein air is outdoor painting, and you, if you think about like Vincent Van Gogh, uh, Monet, they painted outdoors. Um, they painted outdoors to get the natural light because it's not the same as a photograph. So we have a bunch of artists in Mississippi that just mm -hmm. embrace that outdoor painting. It's really become a thing. Um, and I have a number of great painters in the gallery that paint plein air. So I've gotten real excited about it. We had a competition, a small competition uh, uh, with that, and we coordinated it, that with Neblets um, and ANS Interiors, and just did a Saturday, like a quick, you know, kind of thing to get our feet wet. But we're looking to do a big, a big one, like a four-day event. And uh, we're tying in with the Sheraton, um, and we're working with the city to really have something here that's a local Flowwood event that really highlights those Mississippi artists that do something that you can actually go watch them do. Okay. They're like performance artists. Like they get out there, they can do some amazing work and you can watch them do it. Wow. So, And we had them featured um, last fall on the Mississippi Gulf Coast in Ocean Springs and it was just amazing to see them spaced out in the community. Mm -hmm. And like you said, they really do that. They just get out there and they really, you know, take heart into what they do and do a great yeah. job. It's really cool. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. But lots of great things yes. are going on here at the gallery. Lots of great community partnerships. Um, thank you so much just for talking to yes. us just about, I know, the top of the iceberg of everything that you're doing here. Um, and we hope that we've been able to share this with yes. a lot of other people to come in, check mm -hmm. out the website, come into the store, um, and just to be a part of it all. Right? But thank you so much. I appreciate you guys coming out today. Thank cool. you. Thank you. Until next time, I'm Cynthia. And I'm Stacy. See us next time when we connect more community partners.